of the leaf. When this is petiole of the leaf. When this is midrib of the leaf. When this is wings. They are small. The arrangement of wings is called venation. The main wing of the leaf runs through the center of the leaf that give rise to several wings. Several wings. For the several wings give rise to a network like web. It is called retroclade venation. For example, mango, mango leaf and curry leaf. Parallel venation. The, parallel venation. the wings run parallelly to each other to over the leaf blade for example banana leaf and grass leaf thank you parallel venation the wings run parallel to each other by the leaf over the leaf blade examples of the parallel venation grass banana leaf etc learning about parts of leaf this is the tip and this is a petiole of the leaf and the small lines are called wings and this big line is called midrib. Thank you. This is called tip of the This is called lamina. This is called midrib. This is called wings. Thank you. It is wearing about parts of the leaf. It is called petiole. It is connected to the midrib. It, the margins are small small it is called veins in the it is it is called tip of the tip of the leaf in, these borders are called as larvae now we are learning about venation the venation means arrangements of leaves in a leaf Venation has main point. The wings will attach to the main point of the wings. I, I have taken mango leaf. We have so many examples. Now I am telling about reticular venation. Reticular venation has one main ring and pass pass to pass rest to the rest to the uh, small veins. Example curry leaf. Now I am going to explain about parallel venation. The venation run parallel to each other over the leaf. Example of parallel venation grass. Thank you. Today we are learning about two types of venation. One is reticulate venation and parallel venation. Now I am explaining about reticulate venation. Reticulate venation are uh, the main vein will be producing several veins. And the examples are curry leaf and coriander.